why does South Africa have load shedding? Hey! Please, 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 please! What is, what is that? What is that? Revelation gang if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so you already know the vibes you already know what it is if you see the three of us you already know it's about to be a cultural exchange for the who Baby. for the babies so in today's video Alda and Angie are going to be asking me commonly googled questions about South Africa this is a three-part series so there's one video where we ask Alda about Albania and Angie about America I got stuck there <laughs> actually now that I think about it it's Angie America Alda Albania a -A -A -A. and then it's uh, <laughs> That's me. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so before we get started, I do want to say that one person cannot speak on behalf of an entire nation. The way I answer these questions is based on my experience, what I've lived through, and I cannot, cannot, cannot speak for the entire South Africa. That being said, let's get started! Okay. Let's go! Let's go! Why does South Africa have three capitals? They do, um, right? Wow! Shit, I don't even know. Like, I can't even tell you that. Like, yeah, I think it's, uh, um... Uh, uh, girl! Hell, uh... Pretoria, <clears throat> Johannesburg... Wait, what? That's nonsense. And you should know better. I don't know what the third one is. I'm thinking it might be, like... I don't even know if I should guess. This is gonna be so yeah, don't do you're gonna, you're gonna Let me not guess. Yeah. <laughs> Give me zero, man. Okay. Guys, yo, please, uh, this is starting very hard. Please I comment know. down below, guys, and explain properly because I couldn't. So you are the weakest link. Goodbye. This is this is hard. This was an easy question. You okay. Kinda, kinda went, yeah. Okay. 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 Um. So. This one is, I'm not sure, it's like a word, I don't know if I know how to pronounce it, but it says, why does South Africa hate die Antwort? Oh yeah, so why does South Africa hate the Antwort? And I, oh! So the Antwort is a South African band and it's white people and they make, I don't know if South Africa hates them per se, but they make very gory, satanic oh. music, I very know. like evilish vibe, that's my, opinion and the opinion of some other people I know now obviously for some people it's oh my gosh like they're telling my life story I'm so connected to them but I know like for instance many people in the black community and not all of them we don't like demonic things we don't like evil things we don't like witchcraft we, it's, it's like witchcraft you know we don't like witchcraft we don't like satanic stuff so we don't like them because like uh, 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 bliss, 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 bliss. is South Africa safe Ooh, mm. is South Africa safe <laughs> no. Um, generally speaking, the generalization is no. Now, for every country, it depends on where you're staying, yeah. right? But generally, I would say no, it's not because I think South Africa is one is the rape capital of the world, or definitely high up on the list. And I think it was voted either most dangerous place for women to live or definitely high up on the list. Oh. South Africa has high rates of gender-based violence, high rates of um, rape. What, um, the rape in South Africa is actually intense. You know, generally, it's just not safe. And that's just for women. Now, we also have things like hijackings, kidnappings, which happens, it, it happens like a lot where there'll be a syndicate for a certain car and hijackings is off the roof. Like in my family alone, We've been hijacked, we've been kidnapped, we've been, uh, what else? We've had a home invasion, what? we've been tied up, we've been, and this is just in my family alone. Have you personally, like, experienced any of this? Yeah, actually, there's a video on my channel where I speak about my experience when we were hijacked, me and my mom. So, I personally was hijacked with my mom. I had a gun to my head, she had a gun to her head. That was me and my mom, and then other my other family members experienced the same thing. So, yeah, it's, I would not say it's safe. Hey, well. Next question. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, guys, I don't think I'm gonna tell you when I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> she don't think she wants to come, come anymore. <laughs> I ain't coming over here no more. I do South Africa has, like, this is really badly searched, have high levels of urbanization. It's a hard ass question, damn. I mean, I Why do we have high levels of urbanization? I mean, I think what? it's just the development of a country. What yeah. is South Africa considered, like, in terms of first? I don't even know the category. Yeah, that. Um, I do believe we are. I've always known us to be a developing country. Okay. Um, and I would say maybe developing stroke third. Okay. But we're definitely not like Moving high up. up there. Okay. So in terms of high levels of urbanization, I mean, I think it's just like a development of the country. You want to urbanize, you want to bring more resources and facilities to like all parts of the, the country. And actually, when I was in South Africa, we went to Mpumalanga. I think the vlog will probably be up by the time you guys see this. When I was driving through Mpumalanga, like there was the houses there. We're driving through like the villages and the houses you were seeing there. Like you really do see that people are you know building up even villages and stuff like that like it's changing it's not yeah. just like your rural area like rural areas are transforming and i definitely think within the next few years we're going to see a transformation in south africa and that's if you know our country continues or not continues but if our country is yes, continues to grow and grows which then now calls into question you know many other things but i don't want to get political so yeah yeah i hope i answered that question well are south african prisons segregated as in like for women and for men? I don't know, it doesn't specify. Or do you mean like racial segregation? Uh, that, it doesn't specify. Are they segregated and I segreg segregated? Aren't all prisons segregated men and women? Like I mean, separate? I think all prisons are separated men and women. Yeah. They don't tend to mix them. Okay, and so I think it might be talking about like, race then. And then in terms of racial segregation, personally I've never been to jail. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've never known anyone, you know, who's been in jail. Um, never dated a nigga in jail. Congratulations! Oh, 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 oh my god. Don't know much about jail. So based on that, I, I, I don't believe I've ever heard, I've never read, I've never heard of okay. anyone saying that they separate people by race in jail. I mean, it's jail. You guys be seeing the lives on TikTok? People in, prison. in jail and they're just dancing and like anyway, cooking very and we'll continue. I don't know some jail men are so attractive it's horrible moving on wow hey listen um, someone being in jail doesn't take away from the fact that they're physically attractive they're yeah she she write about that that's why I like you know some some people's like headshots they'd be like we want she yeah. was not that a guy that went to jail in America and then everybody loved him. Eyes, yeah. I think yeah. Told him, yeah and now he's like married to an heir and he's a model like that man is rich now all because he was sexy <laughs> ah. Ooh. Ah. yeah don't Ooh, girl anyways moving forward <laughs> so um this is I'm gonna ask this question because I don't get it mm -hmm. why like this is like weirdly searched up too but it says why do South Africa called rainbow nation Yes, so we're called the Rainbow Nation because we have rainbows is different colors, right? We have people of all different colors, oh. national, yeah, nationalities and cultures in South Africa. We have Indians, we have colors, we have black, we have white, we have people who speak like, all different kinds of languages. So that's why we're called the Rainbow Nation because we're all like a huge mix of people, basically. Now, do those races all get along? That's a different thing, but they're there. Hey man, that's a question for the world. Mm -hmm. Why does South Africa have load shedding? Hey! Please, 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 please! What is, what is that? You're in my business? Yeah, don't do that. You see privilege when you have a nice country where they don't know what load shedding is. That's what happens, guys, when your country does not embarrass you. Hmm? They don't know what load shedding is. So load shedding is when, I don't know if I'm explaining well, they want to, the power lines are overwhelmed or something, and they want to show it, oh, they want to shed some of the load or take some of the load off of them. I don't know if it's the power lines per se. And so when what you they say power lines, like you mean like cables? Electricity. electricity. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So to remove some of the load on them, because they're not mm -hmm. able to function the way they should or the way they need to, they're overloaded. Mm -hmm. Um, certain parts of the country will not have electricity for like an hour or two oh, or however long. That's Albania. So, yeah. I've been in the shower suddenly. There's no water either. 
I be trying to charge my phone and it usually goes out for like eight hours a day. Ah, the ghetto! The ghetto! Eight Is hours. that what they're doing? I mean, I wouldn't say eight hours. Oh no, I mean, it's not the only type of experience I got is like, you know, a black girl and no freaking projects. Many people believe, and again, I'm not injecting politi political opinions here, but many people, if it was my opinion, I, if I was going to directly say what my opinion is, which I have, I would say, I think. But right now, I'm talking about what I have seen and heard, and I'm not injecting my political opinion. But many people believe that um, ESCOM, which is the providers of our electricity, is poorly run, and which is lined up with bad governance and stuff like that, so, yeah. Is that it? Do you have another question? Oh, you have any happy questions? I mean, Damn. I mean, you know, I says, why does cool. South Africa have the highest rate of HIV? Okay. Why yeah. That's wanna... it for today, guys. I hope you like this video. Don't find any don't, happy questions. Don't forget to comment. You can't find any happy questions on essay. Okay. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Any more questions you guys have, or if you guys can help me answer some of those these questions, please comment down below and answer them. But until then, peace and love, guys. <laughs>